Hey guys, welcome to day 156 of my carnivore journey. I hope you guys are having a good day today, and I hope your journey, you know, your journey's going well as also. Um, for those of you first time joining me, um, I this is my vlog. This is my diary. I just do this every day. I tell you what I eat and how I feel. Um, and of course, any obstacles or any milestones that we hit along the way, I talk about. So, but. For the rest of you guys, let's get started. I just hit my microphone, so we're off to a great start. <laughs> and I usually try to keep things pretty candid. I don't like to cut out and have perfect videos, so a lot of times I leave stuff in there like that. But today, uh, day 156, um, I I felt pretty good today. I had um, now. Am I jumping out of am I, am I jumping out of bed? Um, no, not always. Um, I know a lot of people talk about they, you know, jump out of bed with carnivore and they hit the ground running. Um, I haven't always been doing that. Um, there are some days I get up and have better days than others. But I will say that like depression and anxiety, a lot of those things like are not a huge factor in my life anymore. Um, typically, when I face the day and I face challenges, I feel a lot more calm um, and I feel I feel like a different type of approach and not so stressed and panicked about some things. So that's something I've noticed. Um, but, but, um, but sometimes I'll sit on the edge of the bed and I just kind of think about things and I kind of wake up for a second. Um, but, but yeah, for the most part, I'm pretty much ready to go. Energy, like I said, energy wise through the day, I had energy when I needed it. I had two hot dogs for lunch today. Um, I actually did have one egg. Now, I made a dozen hard-boiled eggs the other night. I was going to make them so I could, because, you know, I was starting to miss taking two eggs to work every day. Well, I used a new Instant Pot versus the one I was using before, and the new one like the old one didn't come up to pressure as fast. So when I would put the time for three minutes, they would come out like an, they were like in between an over medium and an over hard. They like the yolks were, they had a creaminess to them, but they weren't runny. If that makes sense. This time I did three minutes on the new one and they came out over medium. So when I peeled it, the whites were done and the yolks are runny. And that's really good, except it's very messy and it's hard to peel sometimes because it's so soft. And then it's also hard to eat when I'm at work. So I'm just going to keep them for like to go with dinner stuff. And I'll probably end up making a new batch and I'll probably go like five minutes or something on the next batch. And I'll just add two minutes and that should get me in that over medium hard or over hard range. And that'll make those a lot easier to eat at work. <laughs> so lesson learned, right? And today I had a Chuck eye steak um, uh, for the first time. Here is my new pan. I got a new pan for this. See, you can see there uh, a cast iron. I used to have cast iron cookware, but um, I don't have any right now. And so I knew that it was going to be a good investment. So I got me that. And um, and that was my first meal on it was a Chuck. I don't want to say, I apologize if, if I, did I say Chuck Ice Steak earlier? I meant just Chuck Steak. So it's a Chuck Steak today. And this was the first time I actually had like a Chuck Steak. And um, and I guess, of course, it's, it's the, uh, the Chuck Rose, but cut as a steak. And so, um, I, again, this was when I told you guys about my haul, the butcher hooked me up and showed me the Chuck steak and the Chuck eye steak, which I had the Chuck eye steak last night. But I got to say the Chuck steak right here. So I let it rest on the cutting board and um, I really enjoyed the Chuck steak tonight. Now, I couldn't get through all of it. My teeth is, you know, if for, for some of you that have teeth problems, I'm missing a tooth on one side. It's I can't really chew. And then I've got a, like a, a tooth. I'm missing it a, a, on this side. 
I almost had to like remember, but I'm missing a tooth. And then the one behind it is like broke a little bit. So I haven't been able to chew much on this one side. So a lot of my chewing's on one side and I, I I'm constantly getting meat stuck in here. And it's like, it just is, it's always, you know, damage my pain. I have to floss every night and, and like, it's just, I've, I'm constantly digging meat out from in between my teeth. That is a drawback, but I still love my steaks whenever I can. Ground beef's not as bad, you know, things like that. But um, it's just teeth issues, and I'm hoping that over time, and then I'll maybe get some more dental work done once I get my, my finances caught up more. Um, I, and that's what I'm going to work on. And, yes, for those of you that's been hitting me up about air fryer stuff, please stop. <laughs> I love you guys. I know air fryer is awesome and it's used a lot in carnivore. That's why it's on the website, but I don't have one right now and I'm going to be getting one. I'm going to at some point, but again, you guys got to give me a little time. So every time I talk about like recipes and share, it's like inevitably somebody always has to say, well, Hey, just do it in the air fryer. Like I know, I know I wish. Okay. And yes, I'm getting texts. So <laughs> like, Hey, getting text while I'm recording, but yeah. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, everything's a work in progress and, and I'm just doing the best I can. And yeah, it'd be lovely to have the best of everything. Um, but in any case, I got a cast iron today at least. And my Chuck steak came out great. Tasted amazing. I was able to eat most of it didn't leave a whole lot, maybe one ounce worth of just trimmings. Um, the fat in the chuck steak wasn't hard to eat much. Um, I'm still in the process of like learning to like fat. Okay. I've spent a lifelong, you know, um, I'll just share this with you guys. Cause this is my diary. Um, when I was a kid, I had some pretty bad experiences with gristle and fat, and it really stuck with me as a kid, and it was hard on me whenever I had to have steak. So I avoided any kind of fat, you know, um, as much as I could. You know, it just was like that traumatic thing from a, the childhood kind of stuff. And now... I'm doing my best. And and um, the chuck steak today had a lot of fat in it, but it was a lot of edible fat. The texture of the fat was okay. Um, again, it's just a little different for me, and but I'm getting used to it. So I ate a majority of the steak. Just like I said, just left about maybe an ounce. It was a one-pound chuck steak. And, uh, and you know, I'm, I'm enjoying it. I want to do more chuck steaks. Uh, I do. I feel like that's a good fat ratio. Um, I really enjoyed cooking it in the in the cast iron, and I kept the the all the 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 beef juice and and butter in the cast iron pan, and I just put a uh, aluminum foil over the pan and just put it in the oven, um, not like a heated oven, just put it in the oven. And so tomorrow when I make steak or whatever. We'll be able to use that trimmings right there in the pan. So I'm excited for that. Um, but guys, that's about it. I think um, I used the bathroom this morning again, normal, no problems. So if you're ever worried about this lifestyle, trust me, you can have this lifestyle and you will have normal potties. You'll have normal boop. All right. You might not in the very beginning. Remember those first few weeks. Your body has to adjust. And, and here's the other thing I want you guys to think about. Some of you are making the switch over and you're not committing fully to carnivore. So you're still eating so, somewhat of a mixed diet. So your body stays in confusion longer, basically, right? You're trying to get your body to swap over to the new fuel, like protein and stuff like that. So that's why, in my opinion, I'm no doctor. That's why you should always talk to your doctor. But you should 
start com- carnivore and commit to it. That way your body can go ahead and start switching over. If you want to add more stuff back into your diet later, that's up to you, but commit to those first 90 days at least, you know, but anyways, guys, um, that's about all I got for you today. Um, I hope everybody else is having a great day. Uh, I love you guys. You guys are awesome. Great comments still coming in. I listen. I, I read your guys' comments. I try to, you know, spread, send back some love when I can and comment back. But you guys are awesome. I mean, what can I say? All right, guys, we will see you tomorrow for day 157, man. This is crazy. Can't believe we're going for day 180 already. You know what I mean? We're like on that third stretch there. All right. We'll see you guys. Bye.